Yo, man, why do you look the same every day? It's, it's I have like the same clothes. Yeah, it's like a uniform. Pretty much. Why? Yeah, I'm poor. I can't buy clothes. Well, you know what? We're gonna check the machines today. You know, uh, so yeah. maybe you won't be so poor. Uh, Here, hold this on me. We'll see about that. Yeah, so you know we have these four gumball machines, right? And our great idea was that, you know, how can we freaking jam every day? and frickin' just be like rock stars without the star part. I guess star part means money. So we definitely are just rock dudes at this point. But it's like, you know, how can we frickin' maybe spend like an hour or two a day or like even less, man? Because you know, you jam and stuff for like five hours, seven hours, you're freaking tired. And then you gotta do stuff online with the band. You know, we make videos and uh, market the band the best we can. Um, we're writing new songs, you know, for stuff. So it's like, wow, we're really busy. So we came up with the gumball idea, you know, just place them in the store and, you know, once a month go in there and freaking just rape the money, right? So we sent out these letters, man, and it was on uh, episode 20-something, and uh, it actually worked, dude. Well, the first thing is it placed in a supermarket, okay? So we went down there, and a guy called up. He's like, you know, or actually emailed. He's like, hey, man, sounds great. Drop it off. So we went and dropped it off on Friday. And the other one was from our old buddy Jerry at the tobacco store. He couldn't resist, man. Here's what we got in a day and a half, just with gum, all right? No contest. Okay, so that's like about six bucks, okay? So six bucks, dude, and it's like, you know, six times 10, is 60, so we're talking like 180 bucks, is that right? It's yeah. like 200 bucks a month just with gum. But dude, they weren't checking out the sign, you know? We had the sign, and it, it was kind of like, you couldn't read it from far away, so we made this new sign. Tell me what you think of this. All right, man, so we got two more machines in the basement, right? They ain't making money. In fact, I'm using them just for gum, you know? I'll get a freaking sugar high, you know? So today, we're going to take this money with us, get some cigars from Jerry. We're going to look at his machine. Now, his has been there since we checked about four days. We're going to go to the supermarket, or about three days. We're going to the supermarket for the first time since we dropped it off. I haven't spoke to the dude. I don't know nothing. With the bad sign, which I think is a bad sign, and we're going to be, that's like six days. And we're going to check that out. We'll look and see what it's done. We'll switch the sign out, and then next week we'll go and check it. I'm just saying, man, if you're in a band and you can't, you're finding trouble with working full time, and plus people are on your ass, you know, let's say you live at home with your parents, let's say you live with your bandmates, and everyone's like, pitch in, you mother effer, you know, you freaking lazy eff, and you can't even play the bass, right? Dude, let's talk about the THCT. The what? THCT. What's that? Good man, it's a good man. Is that like a drug term or something? Uh, hey, it's pretty close there. <laughs> Dude, tell them about it. You, you want me to? Yeah. What, okay, why do I got to do all the talking, man? You, you know, you said once in a while we should throw up a video so people know what we're doing. It ends up that I talk and you hold the camera. All right, so me and Chris were thinking, right? Like, we try not to break the law best we can. Sometimes things get broken, but we do like to, you know, keep it clean, man, just in case. You know, we don't want to get, we don't wanna get sued. We don't want to get thrown in jail. We don't want to lose our equipment with the sue, and we, we don't want to sit in jail. So we try to stay good. But we were thinking, man... You know, I try to keep my lung power going for, uh, for singing. You know, that's why I don't smoke cigarettes, I smoke cigars, man, because you don't really take it into your lungs, man. Just let it sit in your mouth. You know, a little bit might go down, but you get all what you need. Well, what about weed? So I was like, you know, we should make it into a, a nice tea, dude. And if anyone has a freaking idea, dude, of taking this stuff, because I was thinking, you know, teas, man, it goes right in the bloodstream, you know. Uh, how can we make a good tea that actually tastes good, not like freaking dirt? And get a freaking nice, nice buzz just sitting around. Because I was telling Chris, I said, you know, if we had some THC tea, plus a sweet cigar, man. Because cigars, you sit in the car, you smoke this baby, and it's an hour long, dude. And you're just freaking wiped, dude. You're like, whoo. You know, and you get out of there, and you're like, hold it up. What are you doing? Hold it up, dude. This is a horrible cameraman. Stop. Here, I'll tell you what. Walk backwards while I talk. We'll pretend I'm doing this segment. I'm like Stone Phillips or something, right? I had a trip. Let's go real slow. Right? I don't know how Stone Phillips is. So anyways, we were thinking on how to do some tea. And if all the readers have to, if you want to write in and tell us how to make some sweet tea, you're going to crash. Keep going. 
And all I got to do is send us some messages, let us know how to brew it, let us know how to make it, maybe something you mix in with it. All right, so anyways, seriously, we're checking it out, man. One cigar, man, wipes you out, you're tired. A little tea with it, I don't think we can get out of the car. I think we'll be stuck in that car and we'll have to call for help. So, <laughs> so all right, man, give me the thing. Now you do it. Do uh, Stone Phillips? Yeah, do Stone Phillips. Uh, <laughs> do you know Stone Phillips has our name? Yeah. Okay, I don't know what we're talking about. First of all, how, we're going to buy the weed, man. That's all I know. Dude, it's illegal. Where are you going to buy it, then? It's illegal. Well, we we got a couple choices. Okay. You can break the law. <laughs> You can break the law, man, or you can go to Amsterdam, dude, and a couple other places. Let's go to Amsterdam. Listen, why don't you get the medical card? Because I don't have anything medical problem. Dude, with you just pay for it. Oh. You get a medical card, you go into one of those bars. It's California, dude. We don't live in California. How close are we to California? Uh, pretty far. So. You're right, that, dude. So Amsterdam's pretty far, too, but. But, dude, Amsterdam's a good destination. True. We'll just do that. A little road trip. Do you think this tea will work? It was my idea. I don't know where you try to steal I them. ate it one time. I went to school. When I was in school, I ate a whole bag. That's great, dude. Do you want to hear what happened? What? I ate the whole bag. And then, like my friend, he ate it like 7 a.m. and I ate it at 7 a.m. We had two dime bags, whatever. We ate it and ate it and ate it. Still, we're finishing up in first class. We're like, yeah, this is going to be sweet, man. It's like nobody knows. <clears throat> we didn't even know. Because it takes so long to digest and to work that by the time I got home, I had like this weird body buzz and that was it. Barely was high at school. It's not worth it then. But dude, a tea. Now, let me tell you a little secret. I heard, okay, and I've seen that if you shove something in your ass, it, goes straight, it bypasses the liver and it goes straight in your bloodstream. You know how I know? I saw a thousand ways to die, man. Guy was an alky dude and his throat was out of commission. So he's like, hey, honey, shove this pipe in my ass, little hose, pour a bottle of freaking tequila in there or whiskey or something. And the dude freaking died. He was wasted as hell and died. Why? Because it bypasses the liver. And I ask you, I ask you this question. If you had two teas, one in a cup, you're going to get this high. One connected to a hose going into your ass, and you're going to get ripped. And that's all you can do for a week. Give me the camera. I'm going to ask you. I'm trying to do it. Which one would you do? Easily, I'd do the freaking tea. I'm not going to sell something in my ass. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to insert <laughs> your talking. <laughs> With your voice, I'm like, yeah, and I, I would, and then I'm going to insert my voice saying, in my ass. No. Just have your mouth move to it. I'm going to no. Photoshop it, dude. dude. All right, well, you got to hit the treadmill, right? right? You have to drive poorly. All right. And? <laughs> dude, this would be the best thumbnail right here. Okay. For any video, just hold, hold it right there. <laughs> I'm not going to hold it right there. Well, anyways, we got to go check the machines, and uh, this is going to be a long day because we got to take a couple breaks to do some stuff, so we'll put it all together. Anyways, just follow us around, man, and we'll see what happens. Peace.